Hello, it's Carolyn from the Purple Poncho. Today I would like to show you how to crochet a solid color granny square. It's a little bit different than changing colors every row and I have some fun tricks to show you along the way. So let's get started. Today I'm using my size J crochet hook or six millimeter and some worsted weight yarn. Make a slip knot and place it on your hook. So I'm going to chain one and that's going to become my ring that all my stitches will go into. So I'm going to pull up my yarn to approximately the height of a double crochet. Now I'm going to use some of this yarn as my yarn over. So I'm holding the loop on my hook with my finger in the back and then I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to insert my hook. Oops, it's a little fiddly. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook in that first chain that I made and I want to go through both loops of my chain. It's a little tight there. Okay, so I'm going through both loops on my chain. Still trying to hold my yarn here on the back of my hook. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through. Three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. So that is my first double crochet and I know that my chain here on top of my stitch right here, these two loops here, they look a little loose but I find that as you come around and you join there that it's it, it ends up being okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker in those two loops. I missed a little spot there. There we go. And when we come back around, we're going to slip stitch right there. Okay. You don't have to put a stitch marker if you are familiar with this technique. It's just to help those that are new to this technique. Okay, so now I'm going to continue with my beginning row of making two more double crochet in that same chain. Okay, so there's my three doubles, chain two, three doubles, there's one, two, and three, chain two, and I'm crocheting over my tail as well, bringing that around and encapsulating that inside. Okay, so there's making my three doubles. There's one, two, and three. Chain two. And I need one more set of three doubles. All going in that center chain. So here's one, two, and three. So I'm going to bring my tail to the back. And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to take out the stitch marker. Okay, so yarn over and we're going to put a half double crochet underneath those two loops there. See that looks like a chain there? So we're going to go in there and that's on my first um, standing double that I made. So then yarn over, pull through, and I have three loops on my hook, and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's the end of row, or round one. Okay. So by making a half double crochet right here, it's giving the illusion of a chain two space here in this corner. 
it's um, pretty close to the size of the chain two of the other corners. Isn't that cool? So now my yarn is already in my corner, so that is really cool too. So to begin the next round, again we're going to pull up a, a long loop, holding it with my finger in the back, yarn over my hook, then we're going to go into that chain two space and yarn over and pull up a loop. And now I've got three loops on my hook and I'm going to finish my double. So yarn over, pull through two, pull up a little bit, and then yarn over and pull through two. Now I can put my stitch marker in there again to show me where to attach when I come back around. Again, that's optional. So that looks like a double. Okay, and then we're going to put two more doubles. There's one, two. Now to complete this round, we're just going to come over here and put three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Come over here to the next one, do the same. Come over here, do the next one, do the same. And then when we come back to this corner, we're going to do the three doubles and then half double crochet where my stitch marker is. So skip over and just do three doubles in the corner. chain two, and three doubles again in that same corner space. If you're new to granny squares, I have a uh, tutorial on how to make a basic granny square. And that one is changing colors every round. And three doubles in the next corner. Chain two and three doubles in the same chain two space. Now we're back at our beginning corner here. So we're going to put three doubles. And then we're going to put our half double going right through that chain space, or chain, right in that uh, V-stitch across the top here. So if we're looking at that first double crochet, and then just kind of rotate it towards the top and go through the, the front and the back loop on the top of that stitch. So then yarn over, pull through, three loops on our hook, Yarn over, pull through all three. And that makes a half double crochet in the corner. So when we're looking at this stitch that we make here, this is our first stitch of the of the row we just finished, where my hook is, where my finger is now. It it uh, resembles a double crochet. Well, it's a standing double crochet. We just make it a little bit different, right? So it really blends in well with your work. So instead of having a chain three going up to here or right here to show where you're beginning your row, you have to really, really know your crochet, crochet stitches to be able to even spot that. Whereas anyone could tell the difference between all the other stitches and then uh, one stitch looks different. So it's just a personal choice or a preference. So for instance you could start right now with chain three and two doubles. I'll show you the difference. Okay. So that's how it would look. It's just another alternative way that I'm showing you today. So either way works, whatever you're more, more comfortable doing. 
and pulling up a long loop and uh, making the double crochet this way is very fiddly at first but once you practice and get the hang of it um, I really really like doing it this way Okay, so there's my first double and then two more doubles so you're making the second half of your corner right so this is the second half of the corner and then you're going all the way around and coming back over to finish your corner at the end so now we have a space here on the sides of our rows so we just go ahead and put three doubles in that space and then come over to the corner and make a normal corner of three doubles, chain two, three doubles. And repeat this around the square. So three doubles. And now we're at the corner. So as your square gets larger, each round you will increase by a set of, of um, doubles. So by you will increase by one space. So here on this row, down here we have one space. Now we're working on this row. And then the next time we're going to come back, we're going to have two spaces. So each time you go around, you're increasing by one space on each side of your square. corner And three doubles on the side. In that space, there's no chain there, it's just a space. And now we're back at our beginning corner. So I'm going to finish my beginning corner with three doubles. And then half double crochet in that chain across the top of the first stitch. And that's how you crochet a granny square in a solid color. So knowing that I am starting over here, looking at the back of the stitches now, this would have been my first stitch where my thumb is, my left thumb. And this would have been my first stitch down here. And then my first stitch down here but it's, it's not that easy to tell. Now, if you're going to put a border around, like a single crochet border, uh, I just finished my half double, and I would just go ahead in that corner space and make a single crochet, and then single crochet in each stitch around placing three single crochet in the corner and there's many variations that you could do um, this is just for demonstration and you can put chains in the corners you could do I mean just it's endless what you could do in the corners so for this video I'm just going to put three singles in the corner okay there was three and then one single in each stitch across And when we get back to the beginning, I want to show you a really nice trick to have an invisible join at the end. Okay, so here I'm at the corner, I'm going to put three singles again.
circles in the corner. And coming back to my beginning stitch over here on the left, I'm going to put one single across this final edge and one single in each stitch. And now I'm back at my corner. So I started with one single. So now I'm going to put two singles in the corner. So now all my corners will have three single crochet. And I'm going to end off the yarn. And just go ahead and pull that string right through to the top of your stitch. We're going to thread that onto my yarn needle. Now looking at your stitches, here's my last stitch right here with the V right here and here's my beginning stitch. So I'm going to skip over to that second stitch of my row and I'm going to go underneath the V and we're going to make a, a pretend V on top of that first V stitch right here. So I have my yarn coming underneath and then I'm going to come over the top and go down the center of that last stitch and I want to go through that little bar there on the back as well and pull that through. Gently pull it through and it makes a V on top. Right here. So when you look at your ending row or the final row of V's going all the way around you won't be able to see a big knot or anything. It'll look like a continuous V all the way around your square. So then to end that off, what I like to do is on the back, I like to make, see there's only one leg right now coming down and the single crochet has two legs. So I like to make that little pretend leg there. And the way I do that is I just come down and catch a little bit underneath here of the yarn. Just a tiny bit of the yarn. And don't pull too tight. And just bring that down like so. So I just made this leg right here. So now it looks the same as over here. Okay, see how they have two legs? They have one here and one here, one here and one here. So now I have one here and one here. These are a little bit more scrunched up because they're in the corner. But that's what I like to do. And then I run my tail underneath those those two legs that I was just pointing out. And I like to kind of bury it in the middle here. Okay. Not coming through the front, but in the I like I have my fingers like this around these stitches so I can kind of tell where my needle is inside those stitches. And then gently pull, not too tight. Cuz this is a live a live um, tail. And if we pull too tight, then this V stitch that we just made up here is going to really close up and be too small. We want it to stay the same size as the other stitches. Okay. And I like to come down a little bit. Or weave it in a little bit. Away from the corner, maybe towards the center. And then I go in between uh, two of the single crochet stitches and I make a knot down here. And again, this is all perfect press 
personal preference. Just pull that through. And then I make a knot on top of that. So I, I make two knots in the center of two single crochet stitches. And then I just keep going down. And again, it's pers personal preference, so if you don't like to make knots, then you can just go ahead and weave in back and forth, or however your technique is that you like to do it. And I'm going to come back up a, a little ways. I'm just catching a little bit of yarn up here. And you feel it kind of tug, and then end that off. Now for the center here, we we already had a slip knot at the beginning. So it's already, uh, my opinion, it's already um, secure because there's a knot in there already. So what I like to do, you could even just um, weave this around a little bit and end off. Or just go ahead and go up and down one of these stitches in the middle and end off. But I like to go around the entire base one more time with my yarn needle. Just bring it around. Again, feeling both sides with my fingers, making sure my needle is staying in the center of the stitches. And here, again, it's personal preference if you want to cinch up that hole really tight and make it so that there isn't a hole. See? It's pretty tight there. Um, that's up to you. You can just leave it open or leave it closed up. Pull it closed up. Okay, so then I'm going to go into the center of one of my sets of three. So the double crochet in the middle. And I just came up there. And then I'm going to run it up. Not all the way to the top but partially up the center. I don't want to disrupt the look of the V's on top, so I'm going to just come right below it. And then I'm going to go back down, try to grab some yarn here so it'll catch, and then go back down and bring it all the way over a little ways to the next set of three doubles. Okay, I feel it catching. I'm going to pull this back up so it's looking okay. And then end off with your scissors. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the Granny Square in a solid color. Please follow me at thepurpleponcho.com for more patterns and tutorials. And thank you so much for being here and crocheting with me today. Have a wonderful day.